Howdy harvesters, uh, this is Hugh Pyatt, Superintendent of PAMP ISD, and I want to thank all those who uh, completed our survey uh, for our staff in December. Uh, one of the things that came out of our survey was that you wanted some updates on our uh, 2023 bond, and so here you go. Uh, so let's start with, uh, for the past, I'll say six to eight months, we've been working with our arch architect, Shiver Megger, uh, and also elementary design team uh, made up of uh, teachers and administrators and other uh, district personnel and also a secondary design team uh, same thing teachers and, and admin and district personnel uh, just to come up with a what what we want to see in our new bills and so that's been going on behind the scenes uh, in December our elementary team actually took a trip over to Dumas ISD. They've got three new elementary schools being built. So we went over there and looked at a couple of them and just got some ideas on uh, what we would like to see. So uh, in the next couple of months, those teams will be um, meeting again with our architects to try to get some uh, ideas finalized. Uh, we've already completed uh, square footage, uh, so we know about how big those buildings are going to be. We know where they're going to be. Uh, we're working on uh, designing uh, traffic flow patterns and, and different ideas like that currently, and that will continue through the spring. Hopefully, in June of this year, you will see ground being broke at uh, not only the Travis Elementary, but also at the high school for the uh, CTE facility and the fine arts facility. So let's talk a little bit about Travis first. Uh, at the Travis site, um, the current Travis hosts our fourth and fifth graders this year. Uh, we'll be starting construction um, June of this year to build the new fourth and fifth grade addition onto that campus so it'll be attached to the current facility. Um, there's 16 acres over there so we've got plenty of room to build. Uh, once construction starts we hope to have all of the fourth and fifth graders in the new building uh, by January of 2026 no later than August of 2026. Once the construction um, is complete we have moved the fourth and fifth graders over to the to the new addition then we'll uh, gut and renovate the old part of Travis uh, and when that's completed hopefully by August of 2027 um, we'll be moving in the second and third graders. Um, you know, one of the big concerns on that campus is traffic flow uh, so we've already are addressing that uh, not only uh, with our uh, architect and our construction company uh, also uh, with the city and so we'll be we'll be ready to for that building to open uh, and it won't take long but you will start seeing uh, the ground break hopefully in June, uh, no later. So at the high school, of course, we've got a CTE facility already in that parking lot. Um, but in June, what you'll see is the street in between the band hall and the parking lot west of the band hall. Uh, Charles Street will be closed. Once Charles Street closes, then we will be moving equipment onto the parking lot west of the band hall. Um, and so where will we have the uh, parking? And so if you go straight uh, across the left field fence of the baseball field, there's an empty lot there. Uh, currently uh, some little, little leaguers use it for football, that kind of thing. That is going to be our new parking lot. And that's where our band will practice um, come August of this year. So we'll probably be breaking ground on that in about April. And so as you see construction equipment over there, uh, we'll be replacing uh, the lot west of the band hall um, and using that parking lot for the band practice facility. Currently our band practices behind the CAV Center uh, and all of that uh, will be parking for students next year. So construction again set to begin at the high school site in June. Uh, we'll break ground um, and our hope is that we'll be able to do the CTE facility and the fine arts facility at the same time. Uh, if we can do that, uh, we'll save the district about six to nine million dollars um, compared to if we had to do them separate. Uh, so we're working real hard to make that happen, uh, which means demolition of some buildings, um, the auditorium and the band and uh, choir building currently um, could begin as early as June. Uh, if not, it'll be a few months later. So um, we're looking forward to that building, of course, uh, uh, being hosting the CTE, uh, all of art, uh, theater, band, and choir. 
So all that to begin in June. And again, the completion dates on that would be about the same as Travis. So probably January of 2026, uh, no later than August of 2026. So that is kind of our uh, plan for the next few months. Um, again, we'll be working with those design teams to uh, wrap up what it'll uh, eventually look like as soon as we get those designs. Of course, we'll post those, uh, but I'll try to do these videos uh, probably now every month or so, but as it gets a little closer, we may move it to every couple of weeks. Um, but if you ever have any questions, please don't hesitate. Reach out, um, call the district office, come by and see me. Um, approach me at a ball game. Uh, love to fill you in on what I know, uh, but it's going to be an exciting 2024 for Pampa ISD.